Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, back with a game review, and this time around I'm reviewing the game Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmares. Previously, I have done a review on Red Dead Redemption, like so, I'll put a link down below. But, this is the Halloween version of Red Dead Redemption. It's very fun, you can kind of tell there is a similarity. Obviously it's the same game, however, even on the front cover there is a similarity. Uh, what looks to be John Marston is now riddled with worms and maggots. He's green, he's got a big open wound over his mouth. Yeah, he's got a bit of a gun, but uh, yeah, the American flag is a bit torn. And uh, instead of being cowboys, as on this one, there are zombies coming out of the grave. Now, I don't know if you know about me, I do love horrors, I do love zombies, and as soon as I knew that there was an awesome game of Red Dead Redemption that was being turned into a nightmare version of Halloween with zombies and all sorts of things that go bump in the night then I was straight out to get this. Uh, it's a bit of an old game, not gonna lie, it's a few years old however it's still an awesome classic. Not as good as the original I must say, uh, the original love it, great spaghetti western sort of uh, up to date version of a film in a game uh, but John Marston, kick ass shooting stuff as he does however this time around he's shooting zombies now the game was a DLC however with me I do prefer the hard copy uh, just in case DLC goes wrong but I did buy it and I loved it now John Marston I'm sure you know is a western he's a kicker sort of character and he wakes up one day to find that his family have gone he must save his family and he must travel across the uh, western hemisphere really well, the western world and uh, it goes from town to town to village to city whatever you want to call them each settlement each settlement and each place he goes to happens to be overrun by dead things and of course john marston has got to clear the town that way he gets more clues as to why his family needs saving and rescuing from living nightmares there are several different modes in the game there is uh, the stronghold mode or you can take over land mode this is called land grab. This is where you take over the land and uh, you can go away once it's clear of all the zombies and dead things and you go away and every now and again they get attacked so you've got to go back and uh, save them really. Pretty good, enjoyable. Uh, that's a bit of a side mission when you're not trying to save your family really. In the uh, Undead Nightmares there are several games that you can play. These include in poker, liars dice and also horse racing. Pretty enjoyable, little side games really, they're alright. You also get a new weapon, being a tomahawk, which is a small throwing axe, which I'm sure you know, and an explosive rifle. Pretty fun really to shoot a zombie in, uh, in the head with an explosive rifle, just explodes it really. But guys, uh, if you like Red Dead Redemption, and if you like zombies, then this is the perfect combination. Zombies, dead things, you play as John Marston, you're in a spaghetti western in an open world game. With a pretty cool mission of a storyline. There are side quests, small games. John Master, can't go wrong. Anything Red Dead Redemption, pretty cool. And it's even better if you like zombies. And this is pretty kick ass. Well, guys, thanks for watching my review of Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmares. If you like zombies, and if you like uh, spaghetti westerns, or if you played the original Red Dead Redemption, then I think you'll enjoy this. Also, guys, as per usual, don't forget, we the devoted links are down below. I wear it every video. Use TobyWTD as your promo code gets you 20% off any Wii the Devoted gear. Links down below. But guys, thank you very much for watching my review of Red Dead Redemption on Dead Nightmares. Hope you like it. Can't recommend it enough if you like spaghetti westerns and zombies. Great combination. But guys, thanks for watching.